Hey guys, just a heads up, my face cam didn't work for the first chunk of this video. I'll show up later. Sorry about that. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Bad Dream Coma. Welcome to Chapter 6, The Apartment. I thought this was going to be called The Neighborhood, based on what dude was telling us last chapter, but... It's The Apartment, and what we're trying to do here is find a kid within this world, which is really interesting because... As you know, Bad Dream Coma is a fake world. It doesn't exist. It is a world filled with monsters and demons and horrible creations from the mind that have been largely fueled by, or at least we thought, largely fueled by adults. But there's apparently a kid in here, <laughs> a kid, that has been dicking around with death, which is pretty interesting. So what we gotta do now is start wandering around here, clicking around as usual in this horror adventure game, Bad Dream Coma, and try to find a way in to this apartment in an attempt to find this kid. The mystery dude in the mask, the masked man, and the teddy bear went off to the graveyard to try to dig up some clues. And there's just like a lot of gunk and poison and don't touch me and blood all over the place. You- oh, what's this? You guys have been telling me that this bad ending route is so different than the good and the neutral ones, which I think is really cool. I was told that neutral and good aren't too far apart other than the ending itself. But the bad ending playthrough, or gameplay, is completely different than the good one, which is pretty cool. Electricity bill. Can I read you? <laughs> huh. Can I pull one of these on you? I can't read you. I guess I was expecting to be able to read you. Get some info out of you. What's this? I can go down. I can also go up. Doesn't look like anything's too clickable around here. Oh, god, that looks new. Too clickable around in here. And I can't get in to either place. What does it say? Electrical service for the residential premises number one has been turned off. The service will be restored after paying the overdue bill. Right. Oh ho! Okay. Hmm. So no one's coming to the door. Ah, I got a key. I was gonna say that makes me wonder if I need to restore power here in an attempt to see a little bit better. Yeah, because all this is off. I don't know how to pay the bill. What's in here? Dude, I feel so creepy rummaging around somebody else's apartment. One thing that, uh, I don't know if I've told you guys. If you guys are, oh, here we go. We can bring some lights into here. If you guys are into football or NFL or things like that, I urgently need money to continue the treatment. I hope the Tooth Fairy will help me again. <laughs> If I don't get money quickly, well then... Oh boy, Tooth Fairy's getting involved in this, huh? <laughs> There's nothing left but belief in magic. Oh, okay. Can I do this? No. I... When I was 19, I think, I worked a summer job where I worked in a cabinetry shop, did things like installing carpet, installing cabinets, things like that. I'm not a handy guy, so it was like the worst job ever. But I got to go to Aaron Rodgers' house. Grew up in Green Bay, so I was living around Green Bay at the time. And... Yeah, I got to go to Aaron Rodgers' house, got to meet his roommate, who was like a dude he's known for who knows how long. Just kind of helps him take care of the place, I'm guessing. And I got to see so much cool stuff in his house, and got to see... All these different photos he had, and like, pictures of... Him and the other quarterbacks, and other players, and jerseys that he had hung up with other players that have signed them. Playoff pictures from when he won the Super Bowl, or when the team ran into the Super Bowl, and won. One of them is really into Lost, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> Tons of Lost DVDs, but all that aside, like, I felt like I was, like, intruding at the same time. Going into somebody else's house, like, that I feel wants to live a lifestyle where they have that, like, that private space. Because, I mean, I, everybody wants that, but I feel like especially when you're a celebrity of that magnitude, like, it just felt kind of weird going in there and reading all these things, seeing all these personal things as you were, like, just going through the house because it was, like, everywhere. It was really interesting. I don't know if he still lives in the same place. I am I went there when I was, again, when I was 19, so maybe he has a different house. Why are you laughing at me? Maybe he has a different house. But yeah, I got to go to Aaron Rodgers' house, walk around. He wasn't there at the time because he goes to work at, like, 6 in the morning. We got there at, like, 7.30. But it was, it was pretty cool. So my short story aside, <laughs> let's go ahead and put the stamp on here. I feel like a stamp might be worth something, right? But I got a bad day stamp. Interesting. Anything worth a while in here? Let's keep moving along. Oh, I can't even see anything here in the bathroom. Oh! Did it kick me out? 
I think it just automatically kicks me out. Yeah, it automatically does. Okay. Let's keep looking around here, and then I can go... I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm in the... Oh. That's really cool. I'm in the perspective of the mirror. That's so weird. Whoa. I don't know if that's cool or creepy. Anything that could be opened in here? Whoa! And we got all these scribbled out faces. What is going on here, man? Let's see what's inside of here. A button, right? <laughs> okay. And this is that room. I can't go into this room. Can't go in there. I think that's the bathroom. Just trying to, like, rearrange myself here and figure out where the hell I am. Really don't like the dad or the grandpa, I think. Grandma? You got a sewed on neck. Maybe has a problem with, like, male figures and Oh, wait, what was that? A key? Oh, that's a flower. <coughs> Can't do nothing with the piggy unless I can smash it. No. Anything in here? Oh, I got a thing. I got a pen. Okay. Like, the items don't combine. So I'm not really entirely sure what I'm all supposed to be doing here. But I have got some more stuff. So that is helpful. But man, it takes the whole map and just flips it around on you, which is really interesting. It really makes you think a little bit harder. Now, I don't know what I can combine items with here, but it's about time I start finding some things that, oh boy, that I can combo items with here. One thing that's kind of interesting, take a look at this. I didn't even notice this last time. Not only does the entire environment change when I go in the mirror, so do my items. They go the other way too. And this bad day stamp is the thing that I'm staring at the most when we do that. But I think that's pretty interesting how even my items switch, so I wonder if I gotta do something with that. The key fell into the toilet again. Well, that's a hint, isn't it? Can you bring it out? So I gotta get to the toilet, but I can't get to the toilet yet because the power's not on. I need the power to be on in order to do anything. No! Oh! oh god, I touched that thing and that blew open. Ho! Oh, holy crap, okay. So, what, what, what do we got going on here? Jesus Christ. Now it's open. Now I got a thing. Now I got a fuse. What am I gonna do with a fuse? I don't know what I'm gonna do with a fuse. I can go try to put it somewhere, I guess. Wait a second. Wait, what? I can put the fuse back in? Why would I? Why would I do that? I just put the fuse back in. Blip, blip. Oh! The lights turn on now? I don't understand what the hell just happened there, but whatever, we're in the bathroom. We need to get ourselves a, a thingy out of the toilet. So let's try to figure this out. Oh god, there's teeth. Oh, Tooth Fairy! I know what we gotta do. We gotta get money from the Tooth Fairy, and then the Tooth Fairy will make it so we can pay our bill. Is that a leech? That might be a leech. Okay, then I gotta grab a key out of here somehow. I don't know how to do that one quite yet because nothing I put in the toilet makes any sense. But okay, I got my... I have no idea what had happened with the fuse. I feel like I like took it out and put it back in on the same side. Maybe I flipped around and I just can't remember. But let's go into our room here and put some teethies under the bed. Come on, Tooth Fairy. Maybe it will be on this side because we saw the Tooth Fairy conversation when we were on the normal side, right? Come here, Tooth Fairy. There we go. And then maybe if I spin it around, there will be... Money? No. Maybe I gotta come back? It's really weird. It's not like this is just a reflection. It's like another reality. Look at that money. This is so weird. So, if that money's backwards, can I still put it in here? I'm gonna say, the money's backwards, I can't do that. I need to find a way to flip my money around, don't I? And then I can put it in here. Oh boy. Oh boy. What about you, Piggy? No? He's definitely gonna be how I do it, though. Come here, Piggy, 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 Piggy. There we go. So I put that into you. And then if I flip around... <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I can grab it out of my piggy. Do I got a smash piggy? Sorry, piggy. Oh, I broke him. So now I should have a coin that makes sense. And then I can put that into you. And then I can flip you around. And I can use the pen to write electricity bill. And then I can put the stamp on it. Aha! And then I should be able to go outside and mail it out, right? Wait, where'd it go? Ah, did I leave it inside? <laughs> Come here. Here we go. <laughs> now let's go outside here. Oh wait, what? Did you see that? Why is that there? Can I draw something? Oh. Oh, okay.
Okay. I'll have to think about that one. Let's go mail out our electricity here. Interesting. What's down here? Ew, evil secrets. A basement and everything. I drew my own little thing down here. I can't enter that yet, but I bet you I'm gonna be able to. So let's head back up here. Interesting indeed. So light should be on everywhere, right? And then, oh, wait, no. I should be able to turn you on. Nah, ha. Huh? Oh, what's this? Board game. Okay, hope it's not a Ouija board. Wait, you said the key was on the toilet. Is this the key? What? There's no way. Oh, I just got a plunger, didn't I? Let's get the key out of there. Come on. You you are a toilet. That is what happens to you. You get plunged. No, let's flip around here. Maybe I need to plunge it from the other side. I don't know. Sure as shit. Okay. Just happened. Excuse me? What just happened? This is such a weird game, man. And this, like, this whole level isn't really geeking me up, man. So, what about that key, though? What about that key, though? Did I mess up by touching it? I might have. What's up my status? Alright, nothing new on my status. What the heckers? Oh, I gotta sneeze, too. Oh, God. Uh, uh. Excuse me. Wow. What is even with this level? Okay, so... I don't need to use this way anymore, right? I can just straight up flip dip around. Alright, flipsy doozy here, so... Whoop -a -doop. And then, if I leave, does this ding dong now? You do ding dong. And you've always ding donged. What? Oh, something's happening down here. Oh, the key. Because I flushed. You know, there's no real plumbing here, so we just, just, we just throw it down here. And this won't open that, but what will it open? Will you open you? No, it won't. What can we open with that? When you motherfucker gonna open? Maybe it's the mail down in here? Aha! And now I have a cassette player, or a cassette, from the apartment, which is my neighbor, right? I think? Yeah, it's two. Cassette. Active. And if I go up into my room... It's on the other side. But there should be a radio in there, which I can insert to this... <laughs> oh! Oh, well, I'm stuck. Son of a bitch. Ain't no turning around now, Jimmy! Let's go this way. Hey, I got a ding dong. I got a ding dong. I'm, I'm working on it. Okay, so my webcam was not working there. My face cam was not working for a certain period of time. I'm just glad that the recording that did save was my gameplay. So there was no face cam for a while. I apologize about that, but we should be golden now. Everything should be great. We're going to continue with this. I had- I felt like I had to like redo everything because I was like, oh no, my gameplay's lost, but everything's fine. I'm here. Swing point didn't run away. But yeah, if I recall, dude just broke the mirror, and now I'm bonered, right? Now, since he broke the mirror, everything's backwards, and I need to find my way back on out of here, right? And I cannot touch the glass shards without fear of death. Now the question is, how do I get around in this freaking place that's all tipsy-turvy backwards on me? Oh, what's this? Help me? I would love to! How am I supposed to get out of here? Did you give me a key? Oh, I can take the paper clip. Here it is. Aha! So since that message came in here, I should be able to use the paper clip to get into this door, right? Aha! Perfect. You guys ever lock pick a door with a paper clip? I'm not that great at it. I'm not an expert lock picker. By any stretch of the imagination. We have a key now, which might allow us to get out of here, but... Hell, you can't feel like you... Can't help but feel like you gotta poke around in here, right? Other than grab that key? There's gotta be something else in here. Oh, look at that, I gotta die. Okay, and I probably have to die in the game, right? Like, that's the whole objective of the game, actually, is to die. Is to make it so you go bleh, So you can wake up, I think. I think that's the whole... The whole spiel. But now, this is the first time I've been out of here, right? But everything should be backwards? What if I go out here? Is everything backwards out here? No, maybe it's just that one room. Either way, I have a key. No, I don't. I don't have a key. I have to get in here somehow, but I have a board game. Okay, I got- I gotta figure a little bit more out here. And this is definitely wiggly jiggly over here for sure. Now- Oh, wait, wait, what? What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! 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 Do you see that? 
I was going in the other person's apartment is what I was doing. Oh! -ho -ho! I'm still trying to find this kid, by the way. That's different. Oh, that changes everything. So I have a die in a board game. I can't help but feel like they go together, right? I just need to find a good spot to put them. Oh man, that messes me up so bad thinking about that. So can I put the board game down here? There it is. Can I put the die on there? Let's take a look here. Oh, oh boy. What is this? So, I need to roll appropriately or I'll die. There is a Cyclops in this game that we saw earlier. And maybe the Cyclops comes from this. Oh, dude, wonder. I wonder if so much of this is dreamt up because of the kid. Let's do it. I rolled a one. I think. What else am I doing here? I put a button. Oh, so now I can play. That's great. So that's my little piece that I- Whoa! Reroll dishonesty. Wait, what? Oh! I see now. So I roll, and I want to roll the right things. And if I- if I choose to re-roll, I get a dishonesty thing, which will chill in here. But I've already got a dishonesty thing, so I don't know that it matters. And I can keep rolling. Right. Okay, so let's move. This is so cool. This game does so many cool things. One, two, three, four, five. That should be fine. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. So I need to do this. Right? I need to re-roll. And now I just got the dishonesty trait. Right? Oh, shit. Right here. Dishonesty. Cheater! And that would probably keep you from getting the good ending, but it doesn't hurt you from getting the neutral ending. So do you need a bit of luck right here? Like, I don't... Well, I'm bony to the way- Oh, god, I re-rolled for nothing? Well, there goes me, I went dead. Oh, all it does is make me go back. Oh, shit, I re-rolled. My bad. My bad! One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, keep moving. Make it all the way through to the end here. I don't know if I'm gonna die. Ah! So what happens then? Nothing? Oh, it puts me all the way back there. Oh, so it's just a little bit of patience, I guess, really. Unless I'm competing with somebody and I don't know about it. Interesting. Yeah, that's all it is. It just makes you go back to the checkpoint. Unless I pop on out of here and I'm like half dead or something. Let's take a look here. No, my, my blood's fine. I think everything's fine and I can just leave and whatever. Well, god dang it, that's a trap too! And this just- okay, so I need to start re-rolling honestly because... I'm just having to keep- I just have to keep redoing this and this is mur MURDERING ME EVEN WHEN I re-roll! COME ON! Oh my god. OH MY GOD! Just let me do your game! Here we go. Not a two. Thank you. Not a two. Thank you. Not a four. Thank you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we got it. Excuse me. Keep mowing here. There it is. Now we're cruising. Now we're cruising for the bruising. No! Reroll! There we go. We ain't gonna quit now. We're all- We're already on the super bad ending. No! Wait, maybe that's fine. Need to avoid thy dragon. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. Reroll. Yes! We have beaten the dragon! We are the champions! So now what? Was there even a reason why I was doing this? <laughs> like, really? No now that I'm at the end- Oh, hi! Who are you? You must be that kid. You don't look like someone with good intents. Well, I am on track for the bad ending. You better not try any tricks or I'll kick you in the nuts! So where did you find this game? I wanted to get rid of it because it seemed dumb to me. We can't afford a computer, so for now, I just need to make board games. Well, you tried getting rid of it in the toilet, so you didn't get very far, kid. There's little we can afford. My parents' treatment costs a great deal of money. But, if you already played it, tell me if you liked it. I hope you didn't cheat as you played it. Anyway, what are you doing here? My parents sent you here? Wait, what? I don't know where they are. I'm scared they may already be dead. I'm worried about them so much. They might have come to our old house. That one by the forest. Oh! Could you look for them? <laughs> sure thing, kid. I'm too little to go there alone. Anyway, I have to watch the house. You don't need to worry about me. I'm brave and smart. 
Just go. I'm worried about my parents. Is that it? Oh, look at that. Chapter 7 complete. 6. Chapter 6, excuse me. And I got the cheater. I got the cheater. So now we gotta go back to the forest, huh? Oh! Or go to the old house. Oh, look at the puppy dog. <gasps> I wonder if this dog's here because I let the dog live. <gasps> oh, I wonder. Chapter 7. This was in the forest, though. Oh, it totally was. That is a vicious looking rabbit! Ugh! <laughs> There goes Poacher! Jesus. Now, I wonder, if I restart the level, I'm pretty sure I don't get Poacher, right? I'm pretty sure that's how- Jeez, that thing looks like it's gonna eat me. GO AWAY! So this is Death coming here to say go away, right? Uh-huh, can I draw that in? Ooh, I can like just scribble that out and go to the lake. I got the power with the pen! This is pretty cool. Do I just like draw all this back in? <laughs> this is so cool! How do I go back? Oh, my pen's all used up now, though. Oh, boy. That causes all sorts of troublies in the bubblies. All right, guys. Well, there's a little preview as to what Chapter 7's going to be all about. We're really getting involved with death here and what she's all about and literally erasing the world and taking it down with her. We're going to have to investigate some areas, find some new things, and then see what it is that we can all do to progress with our video game here. Hey, the rabbit's gone. I wonder if the rabbit was hiding something. So thank you guys for watching a little bit of Bad Dream Coma. Stick around in case the end card has the new video out for you already. That way you can just pop right into that next video. Go ahead and leave a like if you haven't already. That way you can see. I, I keep mixing that up. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, okay? <laughs> and then subscribe. That way you can see more if you haven't already. So thank you guys. You guys are the best. And I'll Meow. see you in the next video that we do around here.